I'm Sam Bown, and I've sent the last week very frustrated with Metasploit because I've been making payloads and my payloads fail frequently. Now this is MSS Venom creating a Linux shell bind payload, avoiding a few bad characters and putting it in Python. It encoded it with call for dword xor, creating a payload size of 104 bytes. Now I thought that meant that I could just put that payload right before the extended instruction pointer in my buffer overflow and leave only a hundred, go right up to here with the payload and um, it would run. And those payloads failed frequently just when they executed and they often failed later when I tried to connect to the reverse shell and I found out why. By running it in GDB and saving the output, here's the construction of my payload. The yellow at the top shows the NOP sled. The green is the actual payload created by Metasploit. Then I put in a buffer of 100 CC bytes, and down in the red is the extended instruction pointer I injected to start the attack. And I, that buffer shows that the payload uses the stack, and it uses quite a lot of the stack. Let me go through some of the steps here. You can see the extended instruction pointer moving in the bottom left, and you can see the code unzipping. The payload is changing its bytes, and when you get done with that, it's going to connect and watch the extended instruction pointer just got wiped out, and watch it using the stack. You see the one and the two appear in the stack, and then more bytes appear in the stack, so it's using quite a lot of bytes in the stack. Uh, the, now I see three lines from the bottom used for this purpose, and that if I means if I don't leave, and now I'm up to four lines from the bottom. So if I don't leave enough of a gap here, the exploit will destroy itself because the input data from the network card will overwrite bytes in the payload, and that's what was killing me. You have to leave a buffer after the exploit before the end of the stack, or you will destroy your exploit when you connect. And that's what I wanted to show you.